hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's a bit porky here. Still the voice of hardcore boxing. Now we're off to uh, just to office to pick some up. Then I'm on my way to Manchester to do some filming in a boxing gym with a pal of mine, so it's all interesting isn't it? All very interesting. But you know what time it is don't you? Hey? Eh? It's that time again isn't it? For Weapon of the Week! <laughs> Weapon of the Week! Weapon of the Week! <laughs> it's Weapon of the Week time! Oh, oh, oh. Who have I decided on this week? Well, there's only one weapon in there this week. We know who that is, don't we? Mr. Bean Adam Smith. Bean! Bean's weapon of the week. Do you know why? I'll tell you why, shall I? I'll tell you why Bean's wow, shall I? Going out to Vegas when in even a Sky show and hovering around Tyson Fury's team and speaking to people around him and trying to get Gareth Davis to beat middleman for Joshua Fury fight. What planet are they on? They did nothing but ridicule Tyson when he won world title. They were battering him off and kept him down and all that. Well, this is how I look at it, right? Now look at them, how the tide's turned. You've got Eddie Hearn. You've got Eddie Hearn out there now. He's doing 20 interviews an hour now, pushing narrative. That's what you're up against. 20 interviews. Go pushing the the Sky Sports narrative. They should be ashamed. They should be ashamed of themselves. Then not. That's what they should be. Totally and utterly ashamed of themselves. But Bean has got no morals. Have you Bean? Hey, Bean ain't got no morals. These people only care about money, they don't care about people. The weirdos, a lot of them. Weirdos. I mean, you've got Dillian White coming out on social media, going on about how it should be him against Fury next. And Dillian, and uh, that he, he, he's due a world title shot. He's been knocking eliminators back for two years. It's amazing, isn't it? You know, if Tyson Fury gets an invite to White House to see Trump, you've got all that going on. You've got people jumping on bandwagon. They've all been hanging out at back of Joshua. They're all going to be hanging out at back of Fury now, aren't they? Fury power! Fury power! Well, Mr. Bean is weapon of the week. No ifs or buts, you are a weapon. The general weaponness over of it, going out to Vegas when it ain't even your show, going out there, hovering around, like some guy in background. You should be ashamed, Bean. Bean should be ashamed. Do you know what I mean? Totally and utterly embarrassing. Embarrassing from Bean. Embarrassing. I don't know where he's coming from with all that, man. Hey, they know they've got a contract to fight while the next. So why are they doing this now? They're trying to railroad fight, aren't they? Let him fight Wilder. So they should do. Let him fight Wilder. Let 
they fought uh, Andy Ruiz in a rematch, didn't they? Because they had a contract. Contracts don't mean anything to Tyson Fury now, though, does it really? He's got every belt. He could bin that contract if he didn't want and just and just bash up Big Dos of Femi. That'd be like pure sex, wouldn't it? If Big Dos of Femi got bashed up. You know what I mean? It'd be unbelievable, wouldn't it? So that's what I think anyway. Oh, it is what it is, isn't it? Well, it is what it isn't. He's just beat Wilder emphatically. You've got Eddie Hearn trying to jump on bandwagon and he caught PR off it. Go get your own PR, Eddie Hearn. Let me tell you this, right? One thing about Eddie Hearn, he likes a safety net in every deal that he does. He likes to have a bit of safety, right? That's what he likes. Pull up against Joshua, he's got no safety net. Pull left wins, well, we know what's gonna happen then, don't we? Fight Joshua. He got no safety net! Well. It's just how it goes, isn't it? So, but Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean should be embarrassed. Bean. Beanie! Beanie should be embarrassed, going out there to Sky and carrying off like that. What's all that about? Hey. Hey, what is all that about? You know what I mean? So, I just think that Bean Bean's on another level now, isn't it, Bean? It's the Bean show, isn't it? No matter where the PR is now, we have Bean. It's not good, I'm afraid. Bean thinks it's about him. That's why he went out to Vegas. He just couldn't bear to be away from everybody, could he? Bean could not bear it for there to be a massive boxing fight and Bean to not be involved. So Bean, in his wisdom, ate some jelly beans, some magic beans and some baked beans and a baked potato with beans and he flew out there to Vegas, didn't he, Mr Bean? Creepy Bean! Naughty Bean. You tree Bean. Bean went out to Vegas and what did he do? He tried to railroad it, didn't he? Doing loads of interviews about Joshua Fury. Why do that? Why do that, Bean? Hey, trying to grab limelight. That's what you're about, Bean. It's not good. It's not good from Mr. Bean, I'm afraid. Not good at all. No. That's what I think anyway. Not good at all. But what can you do? It's weapon behaviour on a massive scale. Mr Bean's been a weapon all his life, but this, going out to Vegas, just weapon behaviour. That's what I think anyway. But they know best, don't they? What can you do? It's just been, in it? Has been. But I should be weapon at week. Me in this tracksuit that somebody sent me. Jesus, I should be embarrassed in there. So I don't even turn camera on to myself. It's that like embarrassing. This tracksuit I have got now is helmet. It's one of them helmet tracksuits, but somebody sent, sent it me in and they want me to uh, say thank you very much and wear it and all that. So I said thank you and I said I'll put it on. 
it's a one time offer, it's comfy though but I don't know if the colours are me, might give a little peek of it in a minute but it's definitely not me, Ooh. I just like the solid colours me, blue, black or grey, I don't like stuff like this, in camouflage job. What can you do? Look at him there, all over road and his pug. But, Mr. Bean, you are a weapon. Weapon behaviour from Bean. Weapon. Weaponness. That's what it is. It's the general weaponness. Go on, mate, it's going to go on red. Go on, get through. Get through. Go on, get through, Mr. Taxi Darren. Ooh, just cut that, eh? Let's turn it right. Yeah, Mr. Bean, weapon at week. He wasn't going to be Gareth A. Davis because people kept trying to sway me because he's a weapon as well, isn't he? But for me, Mr. Bean stole it. Mr. Bean stole the show. Beanie stole the show, didn't he? Really. I'll just do the top part of it. I'm a bit embarrassed about what I've got on. It's, uh, it's like that lady that's uh, something that got me that dressing gown with my name on. What all that about? That's just some that's some baby thing, that isn't it? Talking like a helmet now, aren't I? But Mr. Bean, weapon at week. Probably just edges me out in this. Oh god. Probably just edges Porky's tracky out. <laughs> uh, probably just does it. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, look at the state of that. Oh my god, that's weaponless, isn't it? That is weapon behaviour. Don't know if I like them Audi A7s, you know. Don't know if I like them. I had an Audi years ago. I got stuck in snow in it, a convertible. It was an auto petrol, greedy as out it was. And I just sat there with foot down for ages. It took about an hour before I got out of this snow. Practically blew engine up. So ever since then, I've tried to swerve Audis, although I've had one since, but it were a diesel. Diesel soft top red and all right for winter aren't they but I just prefer Mercs. Just a great straight in and out job this, I think. Go on then get in your lane. Straight in and out job. Shout out to all them people who keep going, Pookie! This is your show your channel down! Who does that do the name as well? Took him 15 months! Come on, took him 15 months, eventually we're going to get there. So I've got one thing to say to all you people who keep saying, Bookie, go on your jog, channel down. Jog on. How's about that one? Jog. I'm smashing life out of it, so jog on. Get jogged on. Hiding behind your accounts. Ooh. Hiding behind your accounts. You should be ashamed. You should be ashamed. Alright, you should be ashamed. That's how I look at it.
let's wait for the phone number. Unbelievable. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, it's a fantastic sport. Uh, Adam Smith, you are weapon of the week. You've always been a weapon all your life. I don't like you, you're just a weapon. All right, hanging out at the back of people in Vegas. It's not even a Joshua show. So what are you doing out there, eh? Hey, and why are you doing hundreds of interviews, all you matching them on Skylark, begging there with bowl like Oliver Twist, please sir, more. Get Pool Left dealt with, alright, that's what you need to do. Because if Pool Left beats Joshua, you've not got a rematch, then you're going to be going cap in hand. That's what you'll be doing then. You'll be going cap in hand to uh, Frank Warren and them, won't you? So, and you'll think for one minute they're going to let Tyson near Joshua at the moment when he's got Pool Left to fight. I don't think so, and Paul left 39 year old, isn't he now? So, that's just how I see it, so peace out. <laughs> you liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me, because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me, porkycorner at mail.com, all right? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging, all right? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>